Hi, I'm Andrew Chen, tech lead for the vSphere Integrated Containers Appliance. Today I will demonstrate the upgrade of the Vic Appliance to version 1.4.0. Supported upgrade paths to version 1.4.0 are 1.2.1, 1.3.0, and 1.3.1. I have a previously deployed Vic Appliance, version 1.3.1, and have added a VCH to and started a container through the Container Management Portal. I have also deployed a Vic Appliance version 1.4.0 in the same cluster as the old appliance and powered it on. I have also waited for the appliance services to start. Note that this may take several minutes depending on your vSphere environment. It is important to not initialize the appliance through the Getting Started page before upgrading. To start the upgrade process, SSH to the new appliance and run the script etsy vmware upgrade upgrade.sh. The script will prompt you for the necessary information. There are also flags for these parameters so that the scripts can be run non-interactively. Refer to the documentation for usage of these flags. Note that values containing special characters will not be substituted properly during this process. Change any values such as passwords containing these characters before running the script. Enter the vCenter server fully qualified domain name or IP. Enter the vCenter administrator username and password. If using an external PSC, provide the FQDN of the external PSC and the PSC admin domain. Otherwise, leave these fields blank and hit enter. Verify the vCenter TLS fingerprint. Refer to the documentation for directions to obtain the vCenter fingerprint. Enter the data center of the old Vic appliance and the old Vic appliance's IP address. Although the script prompts for the FQDN or IP, the IP address must be provided. Note that the old appliance must be powered on and reachable from the new appliance. Enter the username to SSH to the old Vic appliance. This is usually root. The upgrade script will SSH to the old appliance. If this is the first time SSHing to the old appliance from the new appliance, you will be prompted to verify its host identity. After verification, input yes to continue. The upgrade script checks the version of the old appliance and prompts for verification before proceeding. Enter Y to continue. If the version is not detected correctly, enter N to abort and contact VMware support. The upgrade script will perform a guest OS shutdown of the old appliance. Once the VM is shut down, the disks will be copied from the old appliance to the new appliance's data store folder. The speed of this operation will vary depending on your vSphere environment and network conditions. Once the disks are copied, they are attached to the new appliance. The container management portal and container registry are then upgraded. At the end, you should see a message that the upgrade completed successfully. We can verify that the upgrade was successful by viewing the management portal of the upgraded appliance. We can see that the previously added VCH and container are present. You can view the upgrade log located at varlog vmware upgrade.log. Collect this log and provide it to VMware support in cases of troubleshooting. Also note that by default, the old appliance is left intact and in a powered off state. You may preserve it for backup purposes. In case upgrade fails, this old appliance may be powered on again and the upgrade can be restarted with a newly deployed appliance of the latest version. Thanks for watching and you can find out more about vSphere integrated containers at github.com slash vmware slash vic dash product.